On Friday the 13th of May, 22 cyclists left the Griffin Brewery in Chiswick with two aims. One to cycle nearly 100 miles down to the Isle of Wight, the other to raise as much money for shooting star chase as possible. <laughs> We've worked with Shooting Star Chase for years, and it's an incredible charity, so why wouldn't we want to raise as much money as we could for them? None of us really knew what we were doing. Some had ridden that distance before, but most of us hadn't, and it was tough really tough. There were three support vehicles, all full of volunteers, and they were all there to make sure we got there in one piece. One was full of bike repair kit, the second one was full of water, and the third one was just to make sure we went the right way. strategic stops along the route, pubs of course, and the teams were amazing at each stop. They welcomed us, they gave us everything that we needed, cold towels, flapjacks, water, the occasional pint, it was brilliant. It was a really hard day, but we worked together as a team. Most of us didn't know each other before the morning, but by the end, we were definitely a team. We all wanted to get to the end. It didn't matter how tough the chafing was, or how tired we were, or how dead our legs were. We were gonna make it. By hook or by crook, we were gonna make it to the end. We all turned around that corner and we saw that final hill. Nothing was going to beat us, not even that steep hill. We knew that that was the final thing between us and that cold pint at the end of the day. And what a day it was.